hey guys i'm back with a new video and today's video is on the sun vanished finally we have got another update from tsv so in the last videos it was about him trying to find Danian and him following some coordinates that he got so he could look for his friend so where we left off is when he was like you know running out of fuel but he was siphoning from other cars so any new viewers this is kind of what it's about you know it started off with him being stuck at home and like the sun being gone like it being night the whole time and things start to get more weird in the story so if you guys want to go check it out you could check out the other videos um i have they're gonna be in a playlist but be warned my first couple of videos on this are pretty rough i mean my videos are still kind of rough, not even going front, but they were more rough in the beginning because it was like me barely like doing this like for the first time, so it was something kind of new. But enough about that, so if you guys want to go check it out, if you're new here, you could. If you don't, then you don't got to, it's fine. So let's start off with the first tweet from the update. Oh god, I just got back to where I parked. There are four people standing in front of my car with their backs facing towards me. I won't be able to outrun them. I have to get to the car. That's the only way I can escape. Doing my best to quietly approach, fill up the tank, and get in the car. so as we were able to see in the video um he tried to sneak back into the truck but obviously the people were too close to the truck that they heard when he obviously opened the truck and they sprinted towards him and beat him and in the video you could hear him kind of like crying because in the next tweet he said they broke my arm this hurts so much holy shit so you know that's why he was in pain and that kind of sucks because you know right now he needs to go find his friend Danian and his arm is broken and it's like he has nowhere to go he can't go to a hospital because most of the people are dead right now so you know right now it's just like he just has to keep moving forward and while well, the people are still outside the car banging on the window how the hell do i treat this the last time i broke a bone was before i can remember thank you for all your help and support i've made a splint and i'm trying my best to rest now i drove to the outskirts of the city but i need more time to heal up i feel so tired and i'm still in pain I need as much strength as possible before continuing towards Danian. Also, I cut up on um, TM Madjoy and Lost Sun Yu situation. I'm so glad they are together now. So for people who didn't know, these are other people who are in this, you know, alternate universe because this is an ARG, an alternate reality game. So this is like two other characters in this story and they had like a similar situation. They were like both separate and i guess now they are now together they found each other so that's pretty good news i just woke up from a very surreal dream i was back at the cell tower where i camped out for a week when Danian disappeared except in the dream the sun was still up in the sky and it was snowing Danian, tucker and nat were all there with me at least their bodies were i'm so close to the coordinates now it's been a long time since I really thought about it. For the past few months, it's just been a mindless mission, but I don't know if I should put myself in an emotionally vulnerable mindset again. Whatever happens, happens. I went to the coordinates. Nothing was there. I waited for so long and nothing. 
My arm hasn't been healing, in fact it's getting worse, my veins surrounding the broken part are swelling and getting darker I guess. This car has been following me for the past 10 minutes, ooh, and in the picture you could see from the mirror that there is a car following him. Hell no, that's kind of scary because obviously it could be, you know, someone like I guess trying to say like, oh, there's another survivor, like let's join together, that kind of that kind of shit. But then it could also be, you know, some guy trying to take his gas because obviously the gas is probably going to run out if there's other survivors and they're probably trying to take as much as they can. And, you know, in situations like that, they're they're fighting for where, whatever they could get because it's like an apocalypse. So, you know, who knows? It could either be bad or a good thing that this truck is following them. But I think it's bad. My blood just went cold. Danian, pull over. We just want to talk. Oh, okay. Now, that's how you know. That's kind of weird because he said we. And like I said, Danian had problems with other people. So if he has problems with other people, why would he be with them? And he just said, we just want to talk. So he's with more people. I don't know, this is not gonna end well. I'm doing it. This isn't Danian, but he is safe. Please pull over and let us talk to you. I don't know, that's kind of weird. But I mean, TSV is gonna do it because I guess at the end of the day, I don't know, he wants to find his friend, I guess, but that's just, that's creepy, that's weird. I don't know if I would pull over if I was in that situation. My ass would have been doing the dash. I don't even know what to say after that encounter. I attempted recording, but they noticed and stopped me immediately. They made me leave my phone in the car. I'm trying to make sense of what they said, but this is beyond me. I was expecting a bunch of looters. Of course, they still had firearms, but they were very civilized. There were men and women among the group. They seemed to be the ones in charge. They were using Damien to get to me against his will. That's why he discouraged me from tweeting and why he left. They said they want my help, but why not contact me directly? I asked about Damien and they just kept repeating he's safe, he's safe. So I don't know, to me that's kind of, I, I wouldn't trust it. That kind of is true, like why wouldn't they just contact him directly instead of trying to use Damien? But then I also get why they would use Damien because obviously, um. TSV wouldn't have trusted them like like that obviously you can't really trust people out there when situations like this are happening so I get why they use Danian but I don't know it's just weird I feel like they can't be trusted they want my account the consider is valuable for reasons they won't tell me I said I'd consider it they told me why they wouldn't budge said that if the info is leaked in the wrong way, it will, and I quote, ruin our chances of survival. Ooh, now that's spooky right there. I don't know what they mean by that, but it scares the living hell out of me. Ooh, now this is getting interesting. So obviously that group knows something that no one does, and if that information gets out, they're technically saying they're all dead. Ooh, so this is gonna get so much better see now i understand why the creators take like a whole month to um keep posting about the story because obviously they have to think about the plot like what they want to do they want to make the correct decisions not to ruin the story i don't know to me this is getting more interesting i'm just sad that it's probably gonna take a couple i don't know months or yeah like a couple months to kind of see where this is going but if you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and turn post notifications on if you want to get updated when a new video of the Sun Vanish Ash Vlogs, the Greg Twitter story if you remember it, comes out. So yeah, like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.